In this video, we're gonna be opening up and checking out Target's new deal on these two figures for only 35 bucks. And of course, doing some awesome toy photography with them as well. Hey everyone, hope you had a really great Pokemon day earlier this week. I certainly did. Lots of good stuff that happened on that day, but Target has a two-pack of, yes, we've seen Charizard before, but Garchomp's totally new, I'm pretty sure. This two-pack is only 35 bucks. That's like $15 a figure. Like that's kind of like amazing, especially when figures nowadays are going up, toy prices are going up. This one is, you're saving five bucks. You know, that's that's kind of insane. Okay, okay, so before I get too far ahead of myself, this is the Charizard and Garchomp two-pack made by Jazzwares. It's a Target exclusive, this trainer team series. These are the perfect combination of like quality, good figures, but like at a really good price. And they're not stupidly hard to find at Target. You can usually go in Target and find one of these, or of course get them online. So. And I'm grateful that they exist. You know, for so many years, good Pokemon figures were not really able to be found. So just looking on the back here, I know Raikou's in stores now, Mewtwo's in stores now. It looks like we'll be getting a return of Rayquaza, which is pretty cool. And I think you'll be able to get Garchomp as um, on his own too. So pretty cool. Okay, now I'm done talking. I'm gonna open this guy up. So you might be thinking like, oh come on, Charizard again? Like. You know what, I appreciate the fact they're continuing to put him out. Obviously, he's like the most popular Pokemon in America, but you know, they, they're, they're gonna keep putting him out because you know what, you know, he came out and there's probably plenty of people, plenty of kids who missed him the first time or even the second time and he's still available for people who know and love Charizard. There's not gonna be a time where Charizard's not able to be gotten, which is good for any kid any person that is looking for Charizard, you know what, you're gonna be able to get him. So I'm glad he's coming out again and he's hanging out with Garchomp in that box. Okay, well here are these two boys out of the box and they look good. So for, with Garchomp, I actually wasn't really able to get him to stand uh, unless I did this really cool battle pose because his weight in the back is a little heavy. He's got you know his big shark fin and his tail. So it was weighing him down, but they do come with their respective stands. So if it comes with a stand, that kind of gives it the okay for it to be like, well, it comes with a stand and that's how it stands. Kind of like Dragapult over here. He doesn't stand without his stand because he doesn't stand, <laughs> he floats. So I guess it, it works out. And I still have yet to experiment with more with him. I still might be able to get him to stand. So with Charizard over here, I'm not gonna spend too much time with him because he's been out many times already. And uh, if you're watching this, you're probably already, whoa. And if you're watching this, you're probably already pretty familiar with this figure. So yeah, here's our Jazzwares Charizard. This is the Tamashi Nation's like SH Figuarts Charizard. And I love this figure. I've had it for a very long time and I've damaged it a little bit, but I still love to use it. I did a really fun shot with this recently. It's on the channel right now if you wanna check it out. Clearly there's some major differences. This is like a $100 figure, $20 figure. But to be like only 25% of the price for it to be still this great of a figure, I think is just awesome. I mean, it looks like Charizard. We've got enough movement to give him expression, opening his mouth and stuff. Uh, the one thing about this figure I think looks weird is I just don't like his neck. His neck is really wide and just looks like a big cylindrical looking, I don't know. And I just, I feel like that just looks pretty weird. If it was just thinner and less of like just a block right here, it almost looks like he's wearing a little turtleneck. You know what I mean? Everything else I think is great considering the price point, I think it's really amazing. Plus with the stand, you are very easily able to get him to fly and that's awesome. Like that, I, this took me a, like a second to do, like to just to prop him up like that. So you can't beat that. I mean, come on, Go, Jazzwares, you're doing a great job. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy that you exist and you're doing what you're doing. I really am. Okay, well, I was not able to get him to stand up in a normal pose without the stand. So I guess just keep that in mind. But, you know, with having the stand in general, it does give you the freedom to pose him however you want without having to worry about him still standing. It's $35 for two figures and two stands too, which is pretty cool. And as far as your articulation goes, you've got a lot here. You've got a little bit on the toe, you've got some ankle, you've got like the knee or like this shin joint or whatever you wanna call that. And then you still got everything in the thigh, back here and in here, 
and you've got some shoulders, some elbows, and you've got multiple neck ones, and you've got, you can open up the mouth, like, it's a great figure, and he's got chest ab crunch, or whatever you wanna call it. When you have that ability to move chest up and neck down, it kinda gives you that opportunity to, to create like this super confident pose that uh, you know I like so much. Plus, you can wag his tail a little bit so you can, so he looks happy, you know? <laughs> So one thing I guess to think about with Jazzwares is they are putting out like a couple of different scales. I don't know, I'm gonna take this as their like prime scale that I would like to collect by. I think these match up well with like a trainer action figure that you wanna have with him. And then they do have these other, other ones that you get in like their blister kinds of boxes. These are more like a toy that you would wanna play with as a kid. It's definitely more geared towards kids. These are still geared towards kids, but also, you know, keeping in mind that there's collectors out there that are gonna want these, like us. This is probably like an $8 figure, so this is not something to be upset with. It's just not necessarily made for the collector. Something for the kids to play with. Cause look at that. So for me, as more of a toy photographer, I typically like to use human characters in my photos because I feel like I can tell stories, I guess, better with them. And so, man, I wish that we had a Cynthia figure at this point. Man, what I would love from Jazzwares is to start putting out more trainer figures or anybody. Honestly, like Figma, you can put out more trainer figures. Anybody, please do it. So I think what I'm gonna do for my toy photo, one of them with Red and Garchomp, just so there's like some a human character in there with him. And then I want to do another photo just with Garchomp doing some action ground type stuff. You know, maybe he's using Earthquake and there's all this dirt flying up. I don't know. So I'm going to go and shoot on a nice, very sunny day and get some great action shots with him right here and see how they come out. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm here at my favorite spot, one of my favorite spots, at Peebles Island in Cohoes, New York. It's a beautiful place, even this time of year. And I've got my shot already set up here, so let's go see what I've got going on. So I've got these two best friends here, Red and Garchomp, and they're just chilling out on a beautiful day, feeling the love, you know? And so I've got actually Garchomp using a, a tiny little wooden skewer, just so it's a little smaller to hold him up. Same with Red over here, just to hold him up. And I've got him on some beautiful green moss, which I absolutely love moss. So I've positioned them here with the sun behind them, just like that, see? And so I get some really cool, beautiful, dynamic, end of the day lighting, which is my favorite thing in the world. And so as long as I take my little light reflector, I can make sure I still get some of that light in front of them, as you can see, and then all the lighting looks really good. Um, I did put some of these little pieces of moss over here. Here we go, in camera. This is how we're looking so far. So my settings are at F4. I wanted a little bit more open aperture for that one. Uh, ISO is always at 400, and my shutter speed is at 1640 just because that's the, the best amount of light really that works well for me right now. So I'm just gonna aim my light reflector back and take the shot as is. Okay, so I'm here at my second shot here, and Garchomp's just in a cool kind of battle pose. I've got him standing up again with another skewer, and I'm in more of a muddy, dirty kind of area because Garchomp is a ground dragon, you know, so he likes the dirt. And it's not looking too bad, right? Especially with the light back there coming through. Got a little bit of green behind him. So I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> grab some dirt and kind of throw it, some rocks and throw it around and make it look like you know, there's action going on and that's pretty much it. I cranked my shutter speed up a little bit to 1000 because I am going to be moving particles and I need my camera to move fast to uh, catch up with them. So let's go and take this shot before I run out of daylight. So 
I'm absolutely very happy with this figure. And the fact that it came with a Charizard for only 35 bucks is incredible. So I'd love to know, are you picking this guy up? Have you found them at Target yet? Or do you think that these are totally dumb and they suck? Let me know, I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.